Alright guys, so today we're going to take a look at my game that I made. So here it is. It's currently called The Phantom Knight. I mean, the project name is called Open World. Uh, how it, because I started this off as trying to make like an open world game, but that didn't really pan out. So instead, I'm, I'm, I'm just making a game, you know? Let's go ahead and play that game. Now, I've done a thing uh, in the game object where I've set it to 15 kills. You have to get 15 kills to move on to the next section. You'll see what I mean, but usually it's 30. Uh, but I just changed it for the sake of making this video. And the first enemy, well, I mean, it's random. But they spawn from those spawn pads right here where I'm standing. These are the spawn pads the enemy spawn from. And so these are items right here. It looks like it's just blue fire, uh, which is the icon for the game. And as you can see, I just got a spear. So if you look up in the top left corner, you can, those are your items. You can change them. And here we have spears. Now you throw by pressing square, but you can also aim with the left trigger. Shift on keyboard and mouse. So if I change my item back to the flask, you can see I can heal, and it does 5 health. And you press right trigger to attack. And these guys are slimes. These guys are goblins. They're also brutes. These guys right here. These guys are brutes. Uh, and there's one other enemy that has yet to show up. So this is the main file you're going to get if you download it from the itch.io page. There's also a versus mode where you can attack player 2. Player 2 uses keyboard, player 1 uses controller. And yeah, if you do normal two-player mode, you can not actually hit each other. So basically, if you go to the game's file, you can see that it's made up of three main sections. So this is the first one, the one you saw, and this is the gate that you have to open. So if we take a look at the sprites, we go to the enemy, we have dead forest, fire ruins, and this is just the green woods, but it's I haven't made a folder for that. So we have all the things. We have the rhino, which didn't show up. So most, most of these have two sprites. We got two sprites for the slime and the goblin and the rhino, but this one I had to do an idle and a run for all four directions. Well, I didn't have to, but I wanted to. And it took me forever to get these correct. If we if we look in here, these are all the alphas that you're going to get uh, in, if you download it off itch.io page. So if we go to this folder, I have a folder called, this is the icon for the game, by the way. This, this is going to be the icon probably till the end of development. These are all the sprites that make it up, but not really because I edited them a lot in Game Maker. But that's what they looked like in A Sprite, because I made these in A Sprite, but I changed them a lot. This was the first one I made, and as you can see, it looks a lot different than the final one. The final one is a lot more detailed, and it fits the game better. But, I mean, that's really all that's interesting about that. We, if we go to the Dead Force, we have a new enemy. And this one, I never ended up using this sprite, because it looks terrible. It was like a galloping. But the dog used to be gray, but I recolored it to be purple, uh, and also added some shading. But I'm definitely not going to use either of these sprites in the final game. I'm going to redo them. And projectiles, just axe and throwing knives. And so if you want to see some of the scripts, uh, the game scripts, of course, have the input. This is what gets all the input from the player. We have the vibration. Also, check for the gamepad. Looping through all the... Yeah, I definitely didn't write this code. I copied it because I'm not writing down that. I don't care. And I did write this script, and it's probably extremely not efficient. This is uh, for... I used to have this for walking between rooms. You would get a, get a seed for each enemy in the game so they would stay dead between rooms. And this is the script that draws the shadows. It just loops through every single object in the game and draws a shadow. The reason, the reason I have... I don't just use a for loop and loop through all the objects is because some of them require different Y scales so the, that it actually looks good. And and uh, this is my custom particle script. It's pretty pretty powerful. You can do a lot of things. The print character. This is for printing. Uh, uh, it, I, I was trying to make uh, custom controls, and this is what I was going to use to display the actual character. So like, if the player presses VK Enter, it'll output as Enter. You know, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, but that never happened. Player states. We got player move and collide. If you wanna, if you wanna just copy this project. I'm basically giving you all the materials, except for the sprites. This is the collision. Uh, this is this is just a little shorthand. I use the item scripts so that uh, I can have all the items here. So, uh, yeah, we have co-op. It's basically the same, but with two players. And just so you know, I did make all the sprites, including all of these. I 
I made them all. You can tell me that my artwork is bad, but to be honest, I don't really care. And I would I would have made the grass a tile so that it doesn't take as much like processing, but I wanted it to be animated, so they're all objects. So if it runs like crap on your computer, that's probably why. So we have we have the cliff here, which is just a sprite. We have the gate, we have the vault door, and we have the log. All right, and there will be a test. We have tr the trees, the wells, the dead force versions, and the fire ruins versions. I never show you the fire ru ruins. I'll show you that now. All right, so this is the dead forest. I didn't show you that either. So uh, when you beat the ruins, the uh, uh, when you beat the dead forest. Uh, the vault opens. The vault is right here. You go through it, and you get to the fire ruins. This used to be the a city, a town rather, and that's what the light gray stuff is. The uh, on the ground, the light gray is actually just the uh, remains of the buildings. And so you got skeletons in this. That those are the main gimmick. You got currently. I'm gonna add more enemies. Don't worry. Currently, you got the spear throwing skeletons. You got the brute skeletons that just walk towards you and deal damage. I might make a actual attack sprite. Uh, and of course you got these red slimes. Can't live without the red slimes. Now if we go out of here, uh, we can see what all the uh, the worlds are made of. If we go to backgrounds, we got the grass, which is just, you know, the background. That's what the grass looks like. It's just a tile. And the grass patch. Every single floor in the game is made of this shape. I don't know why it's so versatile, but it is. If we go to the dead forest, again we got the grass patches. We got the dirt versions of those, including the rocks. And here's what here's what the, all of them are made of. That. And of course we got the light and dark rock patches. If we go to the fire ruins, uh, this is what the entire map looks like. It's just a bunch of trees and fire. Uh, so if we go to tiles, uh, basically what I did was I just did this and added, yeah, just did that over and over again and, and made levels. And you can't see, but all these trees are actually making their own collision masks since I had to make it so when you collide with the trees they turn half transparent. I had to make separate collision masks for the trees. So if we just make those visible, hold on. So yeah, this is, this is what you're colliding with. You're just colliding with these. So yeah, there are basically twice as many instances for every, there's for every tree there's another collision because as you can see when you collide with the tree or with when anything basically any living thing or any projectile collides with the tree it turns half transparent so you can see where you are and see enemies that are inside the tree. All right, so another thing I want to show you is how in depth the settings are right now. So basically you just go to settings uh, and this actually took a long time to make because there aren't really any UI functions in Game Maker, so I. Had to do all this manually so you can change the prompts to ps4 and xbox so now as you can see up there in the top left corner it changed to an x uh now it's a uh, square you can toggle the full screen uh you can turn the shadows on and off and it for some reason puts you back in the first thing i'm going to fix that don't worry you can turn vibration on and off uh you can also go and see the controls and don't worry those are filler sprites uh, you can change it to PS4 or Xbox depending on what the prompts are. And so yeah, these are the controls, and I did all this by hand. If you want to see the code for that, actually. So the menu, this is the main menu, uh, so most of it takes place in here. So this is drawing all the text and like the arrow, and then the step, this is where you select and stuff and go back through the menu. And the pause, this one is the most in-depth because we got all the settings. So if you look, we got three, three separate menus. We've got the first menu, the options, we got the settings, and then we got controls. So it's all handled in here, the draw GUI. So you saw that it was going back to the first menu item. Yeah, I'm going to take that out because there's really no reason that it should be doing that. So it's probably fine now. But yeah, this is this is the code for it. Pause if you want to recreate my game. And if you want to if you want to know how the transparency works, we can just go to the environment and Basically, it just it captures the life form or the enemy damage, and it, it checks if you're behind it or not, and then it puts it to 0.6 alpha. And the vaults, this works the same as the gate. Uh, F. Always use parentheses, kids. If it's open, just puts it to the second image. The well is just a set piece, so it doesn't really have anything, but it except, you know, 
because because you have to go behind it. it it's the same as the tree it's basically another tree so yeah that's basically my game this is the versus this is what the map used to look like all right uh the map looked like this in the early stages i have not touched the versus map so this is what the um, test map used to look like this didn't always look like this. There were a lot of more trees. And as you can see, it used to look like this. And you have co-op with all three sections. You can either use two controllers or a controller. You have to have a controller, though, if you want to do co-op. Uh, if you try to do it, like, if you try to go to the first one and you don't have a controller, it'll give you an error message. See, you can't use keyboard and mouse with this game first because... I made a major overlook oversight, and basically this is what it used to be. Uh, that's what the player sprite used to be, uh, with like not carrying the sword, like, and that's what the slimes used to look like. And the atta attacking used to be much faster because you know it would make the damage object as soon as you hit it, and also using the 360 degrees on the gamepad used to be a lot different. You'd have to be going 100% up or down to hit it, or else it would be the side sprite, if you know what I'm saying. And you. you use different buttons, use X or square to hit, uh, and that's that's what game pause used to look like. So, and then the second alpha, you could actually use this, uh, and if we go into one player, yeah, this is, this is what, this is what the game used to be before items, alright? So there was only this section, there's no dead forest in this alpha, but in case you wanted to play it, the slime sprite changed from alpha 1, and you can now do two player and versus, but there are no settings, as you can see that came after. Uh, so yeah, this game will probably come out, probably never, actually, uh, but you know, it might, it might come out hold out hope that it'll come out. Uh, I'm trying to think of new ideas for areas, like there's the fire ruins, I want to do some sort of desert, and I mean we can go we can go look at the lore right now, it's called Night Story, so I'll leave this in the description, this is the current lore, I started writing this about two days ago, uh, pause if you want to read it from here, or you can go in the description. Basically, there are four areas, there are four, air, there are four main areas, okay, that branch out, uh, so if we go to paint, so if we just take Take a, take a stroll in, down into paint. This is, so the main central area is going to be right here. This is the green forest. That's the green forest, all right? Uh, so it, it branches out up here, and this is going to be where the crystalline palace is. Uh, and then down here is going to be the swamp, the swamp area. And in between there is going to be like, is going to be the dead forest. So that's going to be the dead forest. Uh, and this is this is this is going to be called the swamp of spirits. There are going to be like ghost enemies. And over here, the ant forest. It's going to be the ant forest. Uh, it's going to be pretty big. It's just going to be a forested area, kind of like the green woods, but it's going to have ant enemies. You know, like tree dudes. And over here is going to be the desert. Uh, it's going to be called Tuscany place in Italy, but it's going to be just a sort of fictional area in the game. And there's going to be a cave system in between there. And up here is going to be like a little city, like a little castle town. And then here is going to be like a gate with some guards. Uh, and basically that's going to be my game. That's going to be the map. And then below that, this, this is just the overworld. Below that is actually going to be... So if you think of this as a plane, that's just the overworld. Under it, on the other side, uh, there's basically going to be the Phantom Rift, or like something like that. You know, it's just it's going to be like a black area. Like imagine a huge black area, with like random white sparkle things. And it's it's basically going to be if you read the story, uh, uh, a dude falls into this. This this is what's going to connect the overworld and the underworld. And yes, there's an underworld to this game. If you read the story, you don't have to. Or anything but like you know and then down here is gonna be underworld there's gonna be the fire ruins right here which connects to it's gonna be a sort of basin of like dried uh, like cooled down lava rock lava rock basin perhaps uh, but it's there's it's not gonna be like a fireplace. It's gonna be like an ash ashen basin ash bait whatever you know something like that. Uh, and the final boss area. The final boss is gonna be in the underworld. And the final boss is gonna be a, a phantom version of Orville the Knight, Orville the Executioner. He's a dude who exists. He's pretty epic. Uh, and it's just gonna be two areas. And the final boss is gonna be like over here or something. All right. Well, that was my game basically, uh, in its entirety. Go down to the itch.io page, get it maybe, if you want to. Uh, you don't have to, obviously. I'm not asking you to, I mean I'm asking you to, but I'm not asking you to. Uh, tell me how you think of it. Uh, leave a comment on the itch.io page maybe, or on the YouTube video. 
even though nobody's going to be Yeah, I'll probably add sound effects sometime in the near future. I want to make sure that I can get the sound effects and the music right and get the art direction correct. I don't know if I want to do chip tune or like go the Hyperlight Drifter route. And yeah, basically Hyperlight Drifter was the main inspiration for this game. Also Dark Souls, but I had a, I I I started making this game before I played Dark Souls, so Hyperlight Drifter was the main inspiration. I started making this game on June 24th, and then I sort of stopped in July and started back up mid-July. Uh, it's free currently. You can buy the alphas for free. Yeah, you can buy them for free. I'm not going to make you pay for them. I don't need money. So yeah, play my game. Bye.